Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Trailmakers, and today we are expanding on our self-balancing challenges. It started off with balancing on two wheels with the motorbike. Oh boy, this thing's kind of freaking out here. Then we got down to one wheel with this thing here, which actually works pretty well. And now I've been challenged by so many of you in the comments as a result of this thing to now go down to zero wheels to make a pogo stick. So I figured it would be good to use this as our base frame because all of the balancing and servos are hooked up to the sensors. So pretty much we're gonna be replacing the wheel and making this thing into a pogo stick somehow. And I could probably restructure the top of this thing. Although we need all this stuff around the seat though for the basic controls. But we don't need the engines anymore, that's for sure. So all of this kind of stuff in the middle can disappear. We can just set the seat right back down on there. So I guess as far as structural changes, one thing that we can do is um, just make some handles on the top. We can build them off the sides of these servos here. And perhaps we might want to actually use a different seat. The operator seat might be better suited for this. If we put the operator seat right in here, the operator seat makes things a little bit more difficult actually, because the front and the back servo rotator things, I can only put one in the back it looks like. So that might affect our weight and our, our balance might be a little bit like, I have some torque to it. You know what? Maybe not. We could just extend these pipes out here to attach to the front servo. All right, problem solved. Our servos are all back in order, and now we can build our handlebars actually off the top of the back of the seat here. Top of the back of the seat. That sounded weird. Top of the back of the seat. Top of the back of the seat. Now we can build the handles off the top of the back of the seat. Someone should remix that. All right, I think our handles are looking good. So now we can modify some of this stuff here, I think. Because I think we could just go straight down instead of coming out to the sides like this. So we could delete these and then just move all of this other stuff in. There we go. However, these need to be replaced so that they can be attached down here. All right, I think this is looking good so far. Now, the issue I'm realizing with the, um, the pogo stick here is a pogo stick is an impact-based vehicle if you want to call it that so i'm worried that jumping around we might just keep destroying ourselves however we did learn that shields can't help with um impact but sometimes they fall off so maybe we can maybe we could do something with that i don't know but we do need some pistons pistons are going to be what actually propels us up in the air but i do also want suspension on it so we can feel like we have that spring effect going when we land Oh, whoops, I realized an issue here. This doesn't work because this is actually attached to the servo that turns. So we're going to have to extend out, replace these with the ones that can extend some, uh, some more pipes out this way. There we go. I think that's the most reasonable solution for that. And now let's see, does this thing balance? Oh, okay. One thing that we didn't do here is I don't have a sensor system set up right now that is automatically on to rotate these down towards the ground. So I need to figure out where to put that. All right, that should work. Yep, now they're all facing towards the ground. However, <laughs> the ground is very, very close. You can see it's working though. So now I don't know how I've never stacked suspension before, but I'm going to try it and see. Okay, that looks good. That looks pretty good. And then I'm going to put something on the bottom in hopes that I'm going to put a shield on the bottom of these in hopes that it'll protect us from the impact of pogoing around. All right, there we go. Now we got a shield on the bottom. And we should be able to press shift to... J oh. oh, okay. That does some weird thing. All right, you know what? If I press forward and then press shift... Oh. <laughs> this isn't quite working like I thought it was going to. You know what? We might need to actually stack um, pistons because the single set of pistons doesn't seem to be very effective. Let's try two sets of pistons stacked and maybe that'll give us a little bit more leeway when it comes to... Uh, how oh, that was good. Ow. And that's what I was afraid of right there. I don't know if we can keep pogoing though. Whoops. I mean, do we still have our full control? We should be able to lean back. Oh, and then forward. Yeah, we do have full control. So we could technically... We could do a backflip if we do that. That we lost our shield. Let's try it. Let's see what happens if we try it without the shield. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, how do we... Is there a way that we can cushion this more? <gasps> what if... Oh, that's not going to work very well, though. I'm wondering... I want to put a wheel down here, but wheels have a center point. And... This does not have a center point. Like, just like this. Just for like, maybe that is better cushioning. I don't know. All right, let's see what, what this feels like. Oh, that's bad. 
<laughs> Hold on. All right. Uh, well, it's definitely like it's affecting our weight for sure, but we should be able to adjust ourselves. Okay, no, the wheel just... Wait, the wheel didn't fall off? Okay, that wasn't bad there. What about a backflip? Wheels seem okay. Now, is there... I wish that there was a way that we could have it centered, though. We do not have a seat that has a center point. That's slightly frustrating, because we, we, it would be nice to just have a single bar going down, but everything else is too wide. So that just messes up the symmetry for the entire thing. Even the go-kart wheel is still too wide. I'm gonna turn the stiffness down on the suspension. Maybe that might make some difference. I don't know, and I think the shield is still our best bet, so let's keep using the shield. All right, stiffness is way down on the suspension. Now we jump and... Ow. Man, how do we make it how do we make it not destroy itself? I mean like we we've made a pogo stick. I just I don't know how much more we can really do about this. Like look, I'm I'm just gonna try to pogo around as much as I can. There we go. Let's just jump again. I'm even like a oh that one worked. We didn't get destroyed on that one. Oh <gasps> maybe we don't need anything on our suspension. We're doing it! You know what? I just realized this thing doesn't look quite as much like a pogo stick as it could look. We need a place for the person to put their feet, even though our person takes up that seat there. But just like that, it should work. I hope. I mean, yeah, it, it's too- when the pistons aren't expanded, it's too close to the, um... It's too close to the sensors. Actually, it's interfering with the sensors. Okay, well that doesn't work. I found out the hard way that that doesn't work. You know what, we'll just take the sensors as the sensors are the place where you put your feet. Like right on top of the sensors, that makes the most sense to me. All right, and jump. Jump. Just destroying ourselves. Very gradually, we're down to one suspension. All right, maybe all we need is the one suspension. All right, now if I... I st it still has the controls from the unicycle where if I push forward, it lifts the sensor up. So technically, this could allow us to keep leaning forward to be able to... Like that. There we go. That wasn't the best. Like that. Oh, boy. Oh, man. This is so... Oh, that kind of works. That's... It's kind of working. It's... It's kind of... Why did you guys make me do this? Why did you think this would work? I almost feel like the shield just makes it worse. So I'm just gonna remove the shield. We're just gonna go with pure suspension and Yeah, that works. That actually kind of does. Oh, unless you unless you land perfect It seems like yeah, every single time you land slightly off axis. That's when uh, a part gets destroyed. Yeah, see there you go. Now watch. I'm gonna try to land absolutely perfectly straight. That was better. That was better. There we go. Whoa. 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 Oh. 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 <laughs> Alright, I feel like we're going a little bit too high right now, so I'm going to lower the piston speed from 100 to 55. Why not? Alright. Oh. Okay. I feel like we're almost... <laughs> I just want to get... I just want to feel like I'm actually pogoing. Like, I want to feel like I'm doing the pogo stick thing. Alright, I'm going to lean forward. We're going to go forward. 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 Uh-oh. Back. Back. Down. Oh. Okay. That's not working either. How can does pogo stick right here? That That's this episode. Wait, am I not able to turn? Oh, I can't turn because of the things on the side of my seat. I actually don't have turning capabilities right now. I can't believe I overlooked that. These actually have to go out. There we go. So now we should have turning back. Yeah, see, now I can actually turn. We couldn't before, though. All right, let's go teleport somewhere else. What if we go to the Winter Wonderland? Maybe snow... Oh, <gasps> no more snow. It's not December anymore. Oh, that is sad. That is very sad. All right, well, this is Pogo Stick Island now. I'm, I'm declaring it... <laughs> declaring it in the name of... Pogo sticks everywhere. Oh, that was a good jump, and it landed perfectly, too. Uh-oh. 
Dang it. It's like a game of how many jumps can you get before you can't jump no more. I mean, I guess that is kind of the point of pogo sticks in the first place, isn't it? But you're not supposed to do it until your pogo stick breaks, that's for sure. Oh, what is happening? There we go. This looks like a no nice pogo stick area. Let's go pogo sticking on top of a helipad. All right, we're just going to go straight into the center of the helipad here because I feel like this is like a pogo stick arena. Looks good. All right, let's see if we can do some tricks, though. Let's do a side flip. And huh. That worked. All right, let's repair. We're going to have to repair after every jump. Now let's do a backflip. That worked too. We landed it. We just destroyed some of our stuff. <laughs> Alright, now uh, front flip is next. I don't know if this is counting or not. Like, when do we destroy things? It's so hard not to destroy things. Alright, what do we do? We did a side flip to the left. Let's do a side flip to the right now. We actually did it without breaking anything. Alright, what? We did... We did... Alright, let's do a 360. We haven't done any spins yet. Ready? 360. That was not a 360. That was like a 270. Alright, ready? 360. There we go. 360 in the other way. There we go. Oh! I think I may have just figured something out. Hold on. Alright, so my strategy right now is I'm holding the jump button and then releasing it as I hit the ground rather than just releasing it right away and then hitting the ground with full force. I can kind of cushion my own landing. And it works. Alright, let's try to do a backflip without breaking any parts now. Alright, backflip. Dang it. We didn't quite do the backflip as well as I hoped. All right, ready? And well, let's get do one little jump here. There we go. All right, and backflip. Oh, because the backflip, when we when we have it ourselves extended, it makes us too long for the backflip. I don't know if we can do that without breaking ourselves. All right, backflip. Now that feels like we just got too much speed built up. Backflip. Oh, we did it. That was awesome. Can we do it with the front flip? Front flip. Nope. Front flip. Oh, man, this is so hard. But this actually, it almost feels like a, a challenge now, like a game. Like doing the tricks. It's like a stunt pogo stick contest. Like, what's the best trick you can do? What if we do a backflip with like a half twist? So we should do a backflip and then we should be facing this way. All right, ready? Backflip. Oh, that was weird. Backflip. Oh, that does some weird things. All right, maybe I have to start the twist a little bit later. Backflip, twist. Oh. Oh, that almost... We did it! We kind of did it. It wasn't like a full 180, but it kind of worked. Let's try that again. That's kind of cool. All right, I'm just going to press a bunch of buttons in the air and see what happens. All right, and go. That was pretty much just a backflip. All right, now the question is, I'm going to try to... Whoops. I'm going to try to go forward. I'm going to try to jump off of this. See if we can actually transport ourselves forward and <laughs> that answers that question all right now i'm just gonna spawn right here oh oh that happens that's the thing that happens okay now we're good now we're good okay forward jump keep going forward keep going forward go 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 we're doing it we're pogoing we're po that explosion sounded a little bit more intense than normal it had that, like, bass drop. I don't know what that was. That was awesome, though. All right, here we go. Uh, maybe I have to do a front flip. Eh. Woo, we did it! Oh, boy. All right, now, back. Can we do a back? We can't do a back flip because one of our sensors is gone. We could do side... Oh, that's weird. Weird things are happening. Into the water we go. Okay, we might be able to make this better. One thing I haven't done is adjust the sensor distances. So it was at 1.8. I'm going to put it down to like 1.4 for all of them. Oh, boy. Okay, actually. Oh, oh, that's actually not bad. Let's do a jump here. Look at that. Okay. Oh, 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 that's bad. That's bad. All right. I think this might be a little bit too small of a distance, to be honest. Let's try 1.6. All right, now let's try forward jump. And yeah, that actually kind of worked. Forward jump. Oh, 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 oh. We just got a little bit jump happy there. All right, jump, jump, jump. Yeah, okay, forward's a little bit too much. I feel like we're really close to having like a working product here. Oh, like with this new sensor setting, we're pretty straight up. So it looks like we can get like one good jump without breaking. And then we have to wait for it to reset itself. 
Then we can get another good jump without breaking. Look at that. Like, that felt good. Oh, yeah. Especially if we use the method of, like, cushioning our own landing here. Like, it's starting to work. I just want to be able to make progress, though. Like, if I put the sensor up and go forward, then it becomes really difficult to land straight because you're already leaning forward. Because, like, normally, if you were to jump forward on a pogo stick, you would lean forward, but then you would bring it forward and you would do, like, a not-so-easy thing to do in Trail Makers. So, like, lean forward, then you would lean back, and then it would, like, carry you forward, and I can't do it. That was it! That was kind of it, almost. <laughs> this is so hard. Lean forward, jump, lean back, lean forward, jump, lean back. That's the met- like, that's the formula to get, like, an effective pogo. You think we could jump over this wall? I mean, we could try. Eh. Eh. Oh, we're pogoing! We're pogoing! <laughs> I get so excited when I get, like, two jumps in a row. Pogo. 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 I don't think I can make it over. If I'm gonna make it, this is gonna be it here. Lean forward. Jump! Oh! We did it! We jumped over a wall! I don't know why that's what I wanted to do, but it feels like an accomplishment. Ow. Ooh. Woo! Alright, I do gotta say, I love the helipad. It looks like it's a, a performance stage, like a pogo stunt arena, like some crazy stuff's gonna happen. And of course, I come out on stage here, and I'm like, are you guys ready to rumble? And you guys are like, yeah. And I'm like, woo! Backflip! And then you're like, that was borderline cool, but a little bit sketchy. And I'm like, okay, front flip. And then you guys are like, he kind of broke his pogo stick. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. And I'm like, woo, side flip. And then you're like, hey, that actually kind of works. And you're like, woo, other side flip. And that one actually kind of works. And then you're like, woo, back flip. And you're like, oh, head stall. And then you're like, I don't think this is supposed to be happening. And he lost half of his pogo stick. And you realize that I really have no idea what I'm doing. And I'm just breaking my pogo stick trying to impress you all. But you guys challenged me to make a pogo stick. And hey, this is what you got. And you just saw a successful pogo stick back flip. You've seen front flips. You've seen side flips. You've seen 360s. And you know what? We're going to go even better. Even better than the 360. We're going to go all of the rotations because I'm going to put this on max for turning. Oh, yeah. Here we go. You ready for this? You ready for this? Try to count the spins. Huh. Perfect landing. Perfect landing. <laughs> oh, this thing's awesome. Now it's like a ballerina pogo stick. All right. Now let's see what happens if we do a backflip with uh, that kind of rotation. Backflip. to Oh, we can't backflip at all. The, um, the gyroscopic force stabilizes us, of course. All right, well, that is my pogo stick. <laughs> well, this is my pogo stick in the ground, and here it is above ground. Let me know what you guys thought. Leave a thumbs up if um, you were entertained by it in any way whatsoever. I definitely was. I'm having fun just trying to do the flips without exploding. I'll put it on the workshop, too, along with my unicycle and dirt bike if you guys want to try it. All right, well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another crazy creation in Trail Makers. Let me know what you guys are going to see next because this came from you all in the comments. Looking forward to seeing what else you'd like to see me attempt to do in this game. <laughs> all right, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.